Welcome to this week's episode of Captain's Quarters. Hey folks, uh, welcome to this episode's uh, tackle. Take you through a little bit of what you need to catch those fish we caught today. Um, I'm anchoring a little deep. When I say a little deep, you know, probably uh, north of 120 feet, uh, all the way up to, let's say, 250 feet. We were talking a little bit about the, how to do that and how to anchor in the, one of the episodes I put out. But um, what do you need to be able to fish there? Typically, the current is very strong, uh, so you, that's why you see me a lot uh, working with the electric reels. And, and pulling up something like this with a conventional reel is, uh, you, you can do it, but uh, you'll probably do it once and say, I don't want to do that again. So, here's a five pound weight, tools of the trade. So you need weight to get down. In this episode, I believe I was using eight pounds. The current was ripping. Uh, five pounds wouldn't stay down. So uh, I had to go a little, high, a little, little heavier. Anytime I run the full uh, moon, you're gonna get that kind of current. Uh, I'm using 150 pound test, okay, to make my main line. Um, and then I'm using uh, 80 pound test here to uh, to tie on the treble hook. So uh, let me take you uh, through a finished product here. I'm not going to take you through doing it today, but just kind of give you an idea of what it is that I was using. So I like to store them in um, these very handy yo-yos. Not sure what they're officially called. We call them yo-yos. And I use a rubber band to secure them. So this is what the actual hook will end up looking like, right? Uh, we'll have a circle hook at the end, like here, hook it, right? I have a circle hook at the end with um, about, I'd say six inches uh, to be able to then get put a treble hook uh, trailer. And, and the reason I like doing this, you'll see a lot of the fish I catch only catch the treble hook because I butterfly the ballyhoo and I put the the uh, treble hook in between the flaps at the back, and that that seems to really work really, really, really well. Um, and it gives you an extra hook to hold on to these guys. Sometimes uh, you need it. So um, tied to the front, tied to the back. That that's the rig right there. Uh, this rig specifically um, is a three hook rig. I'm gonna unravel it here very quickly for you. Fast forward that. All right. This line, this final line that you see here is about 40 feet long. That's the final line. Then um, it's connected to a three-way swivel. Got a three-way swivel, which has, on this, in this case, we have a, since it's a three-way, it's a, a three-hook rig. It, um, I, put a, I put another hook on this with a treble hook. And, and but this these um, this this here I use it way way shorter, so no more than let's say four feet long or so is this this next look. All right, loves to grab on there. It's about four feet long, three and a half four feet long, no longer. Why? Because it'll uh, it'll start uh, spinning and, and just hook on to the main line. You're not going to get the right the right presentation there. So uh, between uh, swivels, I'm putting about, I'd say four arm lengths, about 20 feet. For me, I got about five and a half wind span, so I'm saying five, 20 feet. Um, and then the last one, I'm doing about eight lengths or about 40 feet, okay? Uh, so three-way swivel, short um, line here. Then this goes to another three-way swivel. You can see there's another hook there. Uh, the hooks that I'm using are, uh, they're, you know, size six, seven, eight, what you feel comfortable with. Um, if I'm going to use live hoos, I'll use smaller ones. But because of the electric reel, I'm using uh, 4X strong hooks because the, if you play tug of war with these fish, uh, they'll, they'll straighten them. They'll straighten these hooks so easily. So you don't want to do that. The electric reel is really powerful and these fish are heavy. You know, they're, they're you know, 10, 12, 15 pounds. So uh, that'll straighten out hooks. So I use a little bit thicker hooks so I can put the horse, you know, uh, horse them up if I need to because of the sharks. And then the treble hooks, I'm using very, very heavy duty, large treble hooks, and I'm using mono. 
So that's how we caught those fish today. I uh, hope that helped you. That's still setting up here. We just got popped. I think we got one on, honey. Yeah, he's on. Yeah. Let's see, the last one was a cutoff. The first one, if you will. We got, we got the right species. Slow. I can tighten it a little bit more, honey, and give it more, more of the motor to pull it in, but I'm a little concerned about the treble hook. Still haven't been able to rig my second line. Hey, hey, they're chopping. But there's a storm coming. It's actually by land. So I'm not that concerned, but it's picking up the winds. I don't want Michelle to have a bad time out here. It's been a while since she's been out, and we're trying to enjoy this. Oh, I have a fish on there. That's heavy. That's heavy. That's super heavy. Hey, that's heavier than anything I caught yesterday. I'll tell you that right now. It's uh, a little concerning. It is popping up back there, so it's, I think it might be uh, the right species, honey. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, it's going to be a beauty. Yeah, that's the beauty. <laughs> Targeted species of well, he's not acquired yet. He's not in the boat. Look at the current. Look at See how he's fighting the current? It's not really swimming. He's messed up. It's just the current is messing him up. Making it difficult. Let's see if I need the gas. I probably don't. Give me a good one. I mean, I'm Look at that. The treble hook's all it's got him. You know what I mean? The treble hook. What is the ticket? Right, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Come over here. Let's take a pick. Michelle's first month in a while, huh, baby? Ah. It's what it's all about. Let me see. Yeah. Let me uh, let me get a measurement. Twenty-six inches. <laughs> Twenty-six. Go ahead. All right. We took a double. We don't know if we're on. We'll find out here in a second. Baby, I think we got somebody. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's complaining. Hey, baby, got one. I think that guy might be on too. He started marking really good, and uh, let's see. That looks that looks decent. It doesn't look like a monster. Yeah, we don't fish, baby. Yeah, buddy. That's somebody. Again, honey. I think you got the right Uh, I, I can't 
tell there's a fish now, but I can't get there the fish. I just can't see man. I'm gonna get to the fish and it's just a line to connect it to the yeah, I see the fish down there by the way. I see it. Well, you you see it? Come a little closer so you can kinda of show this part. I already see the white and the red on the tail. You can see them right here. Oh, it's gonna be a beauty. She's coming in with the line here. See that? I'm gonna bring them on the other side so we can tangle them up. Too bad. Show them right here, babe. Not a monster. These gonna be a beauty. That's a beauty. That's what we're here for. It's the last one. It's not tangled too bad. No, not a bad, not bad at all. I need to fix that real quick. All right, let's get a little measurement. Can you come over here? to see if, uh, if I should set the hook. I was just telling Michelle that we got this frigate bird over here. Right when the frigate bird goes by, boom, we take the flat line. So it's still taking line, honey. I think the fish is on. It's definitely on. It's definitely on. You can just realize he's on. It's a mahi. Yeah, honey, let me see what we got. Surface. Typically, uh, a mahi. Be gone still, baby. Time out. Me and Michelle, we're already back uh, back in the dock. I'm going to show you the tally. She, uh, she did great today, man. It's our first time out in quite a long time. And I'm really happy to have her out there. Storm chases in. It's after the storm now. You can actually see that it's, uh, it's pretty nice, actually. It's gorgeous. We were able to put these three bad boys in the box. Now we're going to do the backside. 
All right, so on the back side, just outline it. Outline the fish. Feel right back here, that park, park it right behind it. Okay. And then what I do is I line that up directly to that anal fin there. All the way down. And all you have to do is here, just follow the spine. You're going to believe me to look. to go right in. Back here, I make a, a, a real light cut. Okay. Light cut. And then you'll see that you, you've exposed this area here. Just get your knife in behind that. On the other side of the spine. Just cut all the way down to the back. Cut to the front, just forward cut one time, and that's it. And then this guy just ride it all the way down. A little slippage there. Okay, you ride it all the way down. And once you get to the end over here on the other side, just cut forward. Okay. Good. You got your fillet. It's both sides. Get your skin. That's your finished product right there. It's prepared. Let's do another one. gathered up the crew and headed over to the Green Turtle Inn where they cooked our catch. I'll tell you what, it was amazing. Hope you guys enjoy it. The catch and cook today. We've got some mutton snapper. And we've got some childfish over here at the beautiful Green Turtle Inn. <laughs> As you can see, they're, they've moved the tables around for their social distancing. And we are very grateful to be here. Quick uh, look at the group. <laughs> see how that comes out. I left my camera at home. We'll try this. <laughs> all right. Well, here you're going to eat now. Well, we're gonna eat all right. Hey, honey, say hi. <laughs> hi, man. Thank you. All right. With the crew. We're gonna taste this good fish, see what they do. Boy, boy, look what they did for us, honey. Oh, yeah. Got a little black end action over here. All right, let's dig in. What do you think, honey? Amazing. Ah. 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 All right. Oh, beautiful place. Run a big in.